Hey guys, welcome back to Drawing with Junie. Today we're gonna be drawing Machamp from Pokemon. So it'll be cool. And Machamp has like four arms. Okay, and today we won't be drawing him on a black paper because we can't always do that. Okay, so he'll be really cool and I'll see you in a second. He's a bit like a frog. Okay guys, let's start drawing Machamp. Ooh, and there's some race cars zooming by or something like that because it sounds like that. Okay. So, yeah, I'll use a Sharpie marker for our Machamp, but you could use whatever you want. Okay, so let's get started. So, we'll start on the top of paper here with a small curve like that. Okay, good. Um, one sec. Yeah, I just put the ringer tone on, I mean off, you know, so that when a call comes, you know, this video stops. So if I can't hear the sound, then I might continue. That always happens. So I'm just being extra careful. Okay, now let's make a curved line down like that. Okay, then we'll get the same line kind of coming back and curving in there okay now let's make a curve line coming out and curving in there okay and like here we're gonna do a curve line coming back and then we're gonna curve it down and then we're gonna curve it in there some reason people are celebrating something outside my window because I can hear that. It's really weird why they're celebrating. Okay, so let's make a small curve line coming down and we'll continue it a bit down here. Okay, and then out of here we'll make another curve line coming this way. Okay. Now let's make his eyes here. So we make a curved line down and another one down from the other side. Okay. Now let's do the eyeball. So we'll do a curved line like that. And then a line inside that. Okay. Good. Now here we'll do a line out line coming in and we'll do a short curve line here i hope you can see that and then a short line down okay now here um we're gonna take this kind of is that this is the part where he looks like a bit like a frog okay so we'll do a curve line coming down like this and going up like there then we'll do a curve line like this then we'll get it coming down like that s then we're gonna make a curve line like this we're gonna curve it up okay now let's do the rest first we'll do a curve line coming down <clears throat> okay then we'll make it coming down and then We'll curve it like this and curve it up. <clears throat> then here, let's do the same thing down. And then we'll make a line this way. Then we'll do a line up. Then from here, we'll do a curve and connecting in. Okay. And then we'll do a curve like this for his tongue. Okay, just for our reference, let's quickly close our marker and take our color pencils. Just for our own reference, we we'll take a red, okay, and color in his eyes. 
I'm doing it because it looks a bit weird without that, so I'm just doing it with that, just the eyes. Okay, now let's continue. We'll make a curved line coming down. Okay, and then we'll curve it this way. Okay, now let's make um like a curved line coming down like this this part is a bit more tricky we'll do a line coming this way we'll do the same thing here we'll do but first we'll do a curve there then we'll do a line down and coming back and now here this is the tricky part so we're gonna draw his hand like this okay so we're gonna draw a line up Curve it this way and come down. Okay. Now let's draw one more like that. Just a bit bigger. Then one more which is even bigger. Then one shorter one. We come in there and make a curve in this way. Then we'll curve it this way. And curve it back. And curve it S like that. Then we're gonna draw a curve line coming in the that. Okay, now let's do a curve line here. Okay, and that's it. Mm, that part, so at least we made it. Now let's do a curve line back here. And curving <coughs> in there. Sorry. Now we'll do another hand here. It's a bit more simpler. We'll do an S line like this, okay. Then we'll do a short line out, line back in, and goes in there. Then we'll do a line this way, and curve it that way, and come back. Then let's do one more like that, like we did on the other one, bigger. Then we'll do one more, which is even bigger. And then we'll do a shorter one, and then. We'll do a curve here and then it's gonna come this way and come back. Okay, then let's do a curve line like this back and curving again like that. Good, now let's make a line here and let's make a line, two lines maybe here too. Okay, so now we're gonna draw his other two arms up here and sometimes it can get frustrating drawing arms again and again but these would be a little more fun okay so we'll do a curve line coming out of his eye okay then we'll do a curve line coming up like this and now he has a fist here okay his uh, hand is crunched up like a fist so oops i banged my head that's what happened last time too with primal Kyogre. Okay, so let's make a kind of thing there. Okay, then we'll do another kind of shape like that, just a bit bigger on the top here. Then we'll do one more beside it. One more. And one last one. And then we'll turn our paper this way and make a curve here, a bit on the top, connecting in there. Okay. Now we'll do curve, S line this way and curve it in there. Then here we'll make a line coming down like this, curving in and straight in there. Okay. Now let's make a curve line this way line here and one here okay so that's his third arm now we're gonna do his last arm so hold on it had just his last arm okay don't worry but then his legs are still left and his body and his like belt there okay so let's do a, a line out and then curving out then let's do a line in like that then a curved <clears throat> line that way then it's gonna come a bit more up and 
now we're gonna draw almost the same kind of thing we did here so we draw the thumb there okay then let's do that finger there the first one then let's do one more then we'll do two shorter ones and then we'll do that curve on the top okay and then we'll do that kind of s thing there and connect it in there so here we'll do a line this way and a bump there and we'll do a curve line in here and then we'll do a curve line coming out and coming in okay now if we can turn our paper this way and do a straight uh, like a wriggly line this way here and then we can do a few lines inside here okay good so we've at least finished all his arms now so we're gonna start with the body here let's do a line down okay then let's do a curve line this way then let's do a curve line coming out like this then from here a line back down then let's do a straight line in here okay then here let's do a line this way and coming in then here let's do line between the fingers and let it come in okay let's make one more kind of sh shape of that there okay and now um we're gonna make his belt so in this middle part we're gonna make a circle okay then let's make a p okay so we'll make like a line to like that <clears throat> it's almost like a rectangle without something connecting on the top <clears throat> sorry Oof. okay then let's do a curve like this coming on the top and coming back okay and let's do a circle and now we're gonna draw a circle another circle in there and then another one here okay again just for a reference um yeah here it is yeah so let's take that red and only color in the P, the, the P. And if you want, let's take the, yeah, I think we can do that. Just so, because we're doing this, otherwise we wouldn't have. So let's take our yellow and color in this belt buckle here. Yeah, now let's continue with the drawing. We'll take our marker, okay. Now here we're gonna draw a, a line connecting into the waist. Then let's do a line down and curve it this way. Then let's do another curve line this way and come up. Then come up. Okay, those are like underpants that he wears around his body okay and the belt buckle is attached so let's do another curve line at the top one on both sides okay then let's do curve lines on each side one and then let's do circle two circles along each side okay now let's take a marker and color in the on the underpant except that belt remember okay except that even that strap we just did we're gonna color it in because it is black actually but even though he's not an actual color he, he has this black under yeah good there we go so now we're gonna make oh the the crow is back huh. 
Okay, so let's do a curved line down. Okay, then let's do a curved line this way. Okay, now from here, let's do a line out and coming down. Then from here, let's do a line this way. Coming this way, curved. And this part also looks a bit a, like a bit like a reptile or like a amphibian, like a frog. So we'll do a line this way. Stop it, crow! It's really annoying. Then let's do a curve line down. A line this way and curve up. Okay, that's a bit weird. We'll do a curve line down. Align this way, line back, and connect again. So that's the part also that makes him look like a frog or a, or a reptile because it, those he had only two toes. That's just weird. Then let's do a few lines inside the part. If you know some parts you want to do, those lines you're free to do it. Okay. Now let's do his other leg here. We'll do a curve line this way and another one from the side curving down. Oh, that crow is annoying. It, it, there's always a crow while I'm doing my drawing video or just this time that they always are there. Okay, let's do a C like that there. And let's do a line out. Curve it this way. Curve it out and down. Then here, let's do a line out line down and curve it down like that then let's make his two toes okay so we'll make a line this way curve it down and connect it in okay then let's do a curve like this come out like this and come back like that okay now let's make those two lines inside. I usually make lines inside my, uh, these kind of muscular things, you know, and on bodies too, okay? So yeah, we're done drawing Matchamp. Okay, so now let's, uh, whatever you're drawing with, we're gonna take it and close it, okay? And now we're gonna be coloring him so i'll use prisma colors you could use whatever you want and thanks to my you know, i bought a 20 uh i mean a, a 72 set of prisma colors and thankfully that had like a whole tray of like grays otherwise if i didn't have gray it'd be a problem but even now i'm wondering if i do have the proper colors for him I hope I do. If I don't, you know, I can got some combine some colors. Okay, and that's why I always keep some scratch paper. Actually, I just got it now. It's a thing I use for my scratches. Okay, so I'm trying out this kind of this kind of gray. Okay, so this is a seventy percent cool gray. If you have Prisma color, great. Use it. So that's the gray. And now we'll try kind of dark blue on top of it. So um, maybe like a. Let me try this. This is a violet blue. I'm going very lightly on top of it. Okay. Hmm. Not quite. Let me try again. Spray. And another blue. I think this one will do. This one. It's a imperial violet. Let's do try it out. I think I found it. Yeah, this is the color. So this two seventy percent cool gray and this imperial violet work really well together. 
And the rest of the colors are easy. So yeah, and I'll fast forward this part in the end. You can pause the video to match the same coloring or you could do your own coloring. So I'll start the coloring in three, two, and last one is one. Okay guys, I finished coloring my Machamp. He turned out super well. So here you can pause the video to match the same coloring. Or you could also do your own coloring. So on the video, you might not be really able to see the blue I've added. But I have added it just to let you know. So there is a bit of blue. So very lightly if you have this kind of blue. If it looks like this too, that's fine. You just need to go lightly over it really light so that you, there's a bit of a bluish color okay and the drawing turned out super well and the gray and my combination of the 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 70 percent cool gray and the imperial violet turned out super good okay so um yeah you can pause it here if you've not paused it yet okay so uh, you can subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and check out my other videos okay so um, my latest video was primal kai ogre i think or primal Rudon. i think by primal kai ogre yeah primal kai ogre okay so um you can purchase prisma colors and sharpies if you want and um also this really good pokemon book it's called the Deluxe Essential Handbook of Pokemon. The need to know stats and facts over 700 Pokemon. And it almost has all the Pokemon I want to draw. So I always keep the reference of the Pokemon I'm drawing. See here, I put the reference of Machamp. So that I, I know uh, if I'm confused. I'm really confused about the hand part and how it looked. So that's why I kept my reference. Okay. And yeah. Bye guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun.